Hey everyone, welcome back to FAD Learning. Angular 20 has been released, packed with exciting new features. So in this video, we will dive into one of the most significant update, the new naming convention. So let's dive in and see what's new. Up to Angular 19, when creating a new project, you would get a default component called app component or root component, consisting of four files html .css .spec .ts and .ts file. Similarly, when generating a new component using CLI command ng generate component component name, you would get the same file structure. However, Angular 20 still gives you the same four files for the app component but with shorter names. The component prefix is now gone. So the first file is template file which defines the component UI structure. So in Angular 19, the template file is called as app.component.html. Now in Angular 20, this file becomes app.html. Second, the stylesheet file, which styles the component's appearance. Called app.component.scss becomes app.scss. Third, test file which holds unit test for the component called app.component.spec.ts becomes app.spec.ts. And last, the class file, which contains the component's logic and data called app.component.ts becomes app.ts. So if you notice, the component prefix is dropped from each file name. Makes sense, right? You are already in the component folder so no need for the extra redundancy. Now let's try to install Angular 20 and explore this change in Visual Studio Code Editor. So first, let's check the current version of Angular. For that, I'll open the command prompt and here I'll run command ng space v. And as we can see, I'm currently on Angular version 19. And we can also see that I have installed Node.js version 22.16.0. So now next, in order to install the Angular version 20 in my system, I'll run command npm install hyphen g, i for install and g for global, at the rate angular slash cli, at the rate latest. So you need to write at the rate latest to update to the latest Angular version, which is Angular 20. Hit enter. Now let's verify the Angular version again with same command ng space v. And we have successfully upgraded to Angular 20. Now next, inside my folder structure, here I'll create new folder called Angular 20. And here I'll open the CMD. Here we will create a new Angular project using command ng new space project name. I'll write project name Angular 20 updates to see the updated changes in action. After hitting enter, you will be asked, do you want to create a zoneless application without zone.js? I'll choose Y. Next, select your preferred stylesheet format. I'll go with SCSS and the next question will be, do you want to enable server side rendering? Again, I'll choose Y. And we are done. Now here you have to wait for a few seconds. And after a few seconds, once you see the message packages installed successfully, it means our Angular 20 project is ready. Now let's open it in Visual Studio Code Editor. So first I need to go inside this project, Angular 20 update, and then run command code space dot enter. Now here, if we check package.json file, we will see the project version is 20. Okay. Now let me open the Angular 19 project in another window. One folder 
Angular, Angular 19, Angular 19 updates. Okay. Let me split this window. Okay, here. Let's compare the folder structure. If I expand the app component in both the window or in both projects, you will notice the file name are identical. Like inside Angular 20 project, you can see the file name app.config.server.ts. Same file is available inside Angular 98 project. Similarly, app.routes.server.ts is also available in Angular 20 as well as Angular 90. So all the file names are same except for the component files. In Angular 19 and earlier, component files follow the format component name dot component dot HTML or component name dot component dot CSS. Same for spec dot TS and dot TS file. But in Angular 20, dot component prefix is gone and we are left with the component name dot HTML or component name dot SCSS, component name dot spec dot TS and component name dot TS. Similarly, if we create a new component using command ng generate component component name, for example, user. To proceed, I need to press Y. And here you can see once the component is generated inside Angular 20 project, the user dot component dot HTML is not there. Instead, we have user dot HTML user.scss, user.spec.ts and user.ts. Omit the dot component prefix as it's not needed. Hope it is clear now. So this naming convention change applies to both existing and newly generated components in Angular 20. Let me close this window. And here, if you go inside any files like uh, user.ts file, you will notice that the add the red component decorator is still there with its four properties selector, imports, template URL, and style URL. So it looks like the file naming convention is the only thing that's changed, while the underlying structure remains the same. So that's all for this video. Let's meet again in the next video where we will explore more exciting Angular 20 features in the same project. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends who wants to learn Angular and drop a comment below. Your feedback motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to FAD Learning for quick and easy learning. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.